。哎，队友呢？队友嘞？哎，队友呢？队友呢？队友呢 ？Prepare for battle. The next level play. The next level play. 啊！哎，队友呢？队友嘞？队友嘞？队友嘞？队友嘞？Seconds to battle. Should have seen that coming. Lights out for you. <laughs> Thank you very much, the Zayori, and we're gonna get straight into the game here as we already have some action coming down as they tried to jump the blood sea. Oh no. I I was not a, I, I thought Feeble was gonna intro that one, you know, he he just he got shy. Chickadel up No, I'm just kidding, I was definitely muted. Uh, but we did have some action coming in straight off the bat as the uh, the Bloodseeker ended up uh, very nearly going down as uh, Liquid tried to make a movement straight off the bat. Uh, meanwhile it looks like LeBron's gonna be able to grab the bounty runes here, and yeah, it's, it's gonna be two for two. It's all very boring, so uh, it's gonna give us a chance to uh, get our takes on the game. I mean, personally, I'm, I, I, I like Spider Pigs' draft here in game number two. Again, I think they're drafting very well. Uh, whether they'll be able to follow up on a performance after game one, eh, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure, but you know, I'm just looking for a good game of Dota from these guys. The next label play. The next label play. Really now, you should have seen that coming. Oh, nice dagger. I'm sorry, a skewer under the tower. The dagger's slowing down as well. Tiger losing a lot of HP down the bottom lane. Can they fit in the dodge? Dagger comes through, right click from the blonde, and they will draw first blood again. The Bronze Thug gonna be very happy with that one, especially because this is supposed to be a difficult lane. Laning a Magnus into a Dark Willow is it's just, you're gonna lose that harass war. So LeBron needed to make this play, but that's absolutely huge for them. <laughs> chug, chug, chug. Meanwhile, thug, 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 gonna get jumped into the. Oh no, the spear drags him through the bramble maze. That hurts. And they will be able to bring him down. Beautifully timed by Boxy and Tiger to bring down the Phantom Assassin. It is non stop action down here in this bottom lane as uh, LeBron trying to trade up with Tiger. Tiger is gonna have a bramble maze available in a couple of seconds. LeBron's gonna be a little bit cautious. He will back himself away, trying to sidestep the bramble maze here. Oh, he walks into it though. Tiger, he's got the right click. The Shadow Realm, it will be enough. He gets another. Thug coming in, looking for some revenge. I mean, he's got the Phantom Strike and another dagger available, but I'm not sure Boxy is gonna let him have it with that spear available. Thug can't come forward, so they are just gonna have to accept they've just lost two heroes in a row, thus tilting the lane back in Liquid's favor. Tiger's just styling. <laughs> they are indeed. Meanwhile, over towards the middle lane, we've got Noob laning into Koikva, the tiny into the Visage. Visage, not a hero we've seen a lot of recently. Uh, it's fallen out of popularity pretty severely. What's caused them to pick him up in this game? Radiant's top tower is under attack. Top 
lane. We have DNZ drop in. Bloodseeker wants to finish the job with Mika here, but with the south coming out, Mika is going to be able to sidestep the blood right quite easily. Mitch, he needs to finish the job. <laughs> Unfortunately, Zany is just bashing away at the back of him, throws in the Illuminate. One comes out from Mitch. Keep in mind, but Mika has come back in. He's got the stun available in two seconds. Mitch can be in some real hot water right now as he goes up to that high ground, drops the blood right, but Mika will be able to sidestep it easily and get the kill with the storm hammer in the process. Another disaster up in the top lane for the spider pigs. Expecting this. Now, now, I mean, he might go for the plus twenty five movement speed at level twenty. I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm, uh... So good. Exactly what you want. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I, I think Sven's going to get a whole lot of touch in the next patch. I certainly hope so anyways, but um, I'm not saying I don't avoid, enjoy some Superman Sven. We want down in the bottom lane. We've got a bit of action going on. They're trying to finish off the Dark Willow. She's pretty low on the side of the Tiger. LeBron actually going to get the, the, uh, the cliff out onto Boxy. Throws him up in the hill as they kill off Tiger, forcing the TP out from the Mars. Well, they get some revenge. Some big revenge here, in fact, as they get themselves a kill and both the bounty runes, resulting in it's going to be all four. They get all four bounty runes on the side of Spider Pigs. Meanwhile, up at top... Uh, just a just a little bit of uh, foreplay going on. Nothing, nothing extreme coming out in the top lane. They're just playing around with themselves. But yeah, spider picks. They get themselves. I mean, this this has been a wild lading phase so far. There's been so much trading going on, so much killing. Mickey, he wasn't ready as they managed to get in with the Inks while the stun will come off. Newbie's holding back on the top for the maximum amount of lockdown. Mickey, though, he's not dead. He's actually trying to turn around for the Bloodseeker. Might be able to finish the job. Nope, never mind. Tree grab comes through and they will take down the Sven. Big boy down. And he's going to have to TP back in towards mid to defend this tower, though. In fact, the NZ's going to be the one to come through and try and stop uh, Koik for doing too much damage to the tower. But him and his familiars are certainly getting to work here. Dive our scan. Yeah, Quake was doing work already, but it's going to be interesting to see what he can do coming out into that early mid, especially with the advantage he's got in the middle lane as he is kind of rocking it so far. Noob not really getting much of a put in to this middle lane. I mean, he's getting fun. He's, he's happy enough, and that rotation was pretty big as well. Maybe mm. we'll see another one with the haste. Killing, uh, Noob finds his haste rune, runs into the enemy jungle and finds a, leak, a nice little kill onto the coddle. Nice easy kill for the tiny to bring down. Yeah, they are coming pretty deep here. I mean, they've got this arena. It looks like he really wants to throw down the arena of blood. Meanwhile, uh, LeBron trying to hide in the trees, but gets spotted out and stunned up. Now they're looking for some revenge, though. Noob comes across. Arena defensively used by Boxy to try and help him get away, and he's going for the TP out, and he's going to be able to connect on that one. Unfortunately, Noob not quite in range of the avalanche, and it was still on cooldown as well. So, a little bit interesting as Noob's rotation kind of gets wasted, but they're just plonking DNZ mid again. He does have to play very carefully into these familiars, but he's still getting a good amount of XP from this. And they get the observer. And Noob gets a free kill. Wow. 
Oh my goodness, it's, there's so much going on here. Koikfer gets a kill at mid onto DNZ, gets him into the tower, you know, you gotta respect the familiars. Can't really blame him for falling once or twice though, because his hero is just so out of meta right now that you're probably not used to playing into it, but yeah, we'll just blast Radiant's you down if you're caught out. Is under attack. So what are, what are these visitors' timings? He looks like, I mean, he's got a crown, he's got a blightstone, could be going for anything at this point, has nothing queued up, he's keeping us guessing. What's your predictions on what Koifer's gonna build and how he's gonna play? Bottom, the kill on Tanub is successful as they drop down with their spells. Uh, Tiger and Boxy just uh, linking up together to bring down the tiny. Yep, so those drums come out. He's actually heading in towards a pipe pretty quickly. Interesting. We'll see how it works out. I mean, generally when we see your visages, you know, they, they tend to be very playing on map, just trying to make a lot of peace and uh, push down some towers. And then the team fights, you know, you, you, you're you strong and then you get that level 15 talent of soul assumption hits two targets and you become very, very strong. The damage output there is just pretty insane. Radiant's bottom tower is under yeah. attack. Yeah, Noob's running in, really wants to find him. They gotta bring him down quickly though. Luckily he doesn't have an ultimate, so not too big of a threat, but it looks like Noob's gonna get it turned around upon now as the arena comes down. He'll get that kill, rupture up from Boxy as he just chills inside his arena. Says, come at me, dude. Do you wanna kill me? And now Mickey comes in from inside, popping the gold strength, tearing DNZ apart. Stun's gonna land onto the Grimstroke as Mickey backs himself away. Doesn't wanna leash up 21 with that ultimate from the Grimstroke. Will do so, but now it runs out. DNZ gonna get cut up by the Sven. They will get the return, get onto Tiger. The crate dagger comes through from Thug. Thug now needs to leave. He can jump back to the creeps, doesn't really want to do so as there's a big red angry Mickey looking for him right now. The slow's gonna come out from Thug. Is there anybody coming to help him? There is Mitch. What can he do? Well, he can be a blink target. Will be that. Insane is ready. Misses with the uh, no, Illuminate, but it looks like Thug will surely fall here as they catch him with the God's Rebuke and a spear to the face will put an end to Thug. Meanwhile, LeBron tries to go for a charge back onto Mickey. Mickey doesn't care though. Insane now hitting level six and dropping down the lamp, but everyone else on the side of Spider Pigs gonna back themselves away. And it looks like this will be the end of this engagement. Or will it? This noob's kind of looking forward but surely this is done now. Surely this is all they can do. Interesting fight. Bounty, which my matriarch will prize. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Yeah, Koifu's kind of just chilling. He's not interested in his engagements, which does really surprise me. I mean, I would have thought a visage would be very active. Meanwhile, Thug jumping up on top of Insania up in the top lane. This guy has zero chill. He wants to bring down the big man on his horse once again here, but meanwhile, there's Arena in the back. That's going to catch out Boxy. Instead, his Arena gets turned around back upon him as LeBron and Mitch bring him down. Still an RP available on this Magnus, so Spider Pig's feeling very confident to chase him for more as they chase back the side of Team Liquid. A lot of tempo on the side of Spider Pigs. They are here to fight, and they are doing exactly that as they drop that blink in and say, that's absolutely wrecked by Noob. That was the high ground, seven them very, very nicely as they uh, bring down the OBS. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Oh no, Noob with another haste room plus the inks. Well, I mean, Tiger. Good night. There he goes. The fairy is dead. Meanwhile, DMZ having some uh, familiar problems, but uh, Mitch is going to be able to take down one of them for a decent chunk of gold as they continue the aggression onto DMZ and a spear is going to catch him and bring him down. Meanwhile, Noob though, once more, another ink while another kill gets it, but now he needs to get himself away. Going in towards a tree, going for the TP out. The familiar is going to be on top of him though. Can they stun him in time? No, they cannot. A little bit slow from Koikva, and that's going to be a nice TP away for the tiny as he gets himself to safety. And this whole time, the PA, she's just farming behind them with the Empower, just chilling. Enjoying life. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer 
our scanner. Yeah, yeah, it uh, seems to be pretty haphazard from Liquid, but it also feels like they're having a bit of fun here as well. They know that Mickey is still farming very, very well. He is a net worth leader, so they don't seem to be too worried about what's going to happen to them in the uh, in the following minutes if they do end up messing up some fights. They, they, they view it as okay. Meanwhile, Insania, interestingly, is going for a Vanguard. Um, Vanguard Kotal. Dyer's bottom not, tower. Not something I'm attacked. familiar with. Ooh. Yeah, well, it's, it's either Crimson or Abyssal. <laughs> Abyssal Kotal. Here we go, kids. Strap yourselves in. See, jumping in, throws down the arena onto DMZ in mid, but unfortunately misses the spear, so it's kind of a little bit open here, but the then would come with that big damage. Quick was able to blow off DMZ. Mitch in some trouble as well. Tiger's gonna chase him down. There is a rupture out, but they don't seem to care at all as they will be able to drop Mitch easily. And that's gonna be a nice couple of kills to the side of Liquid. They're able to get out on the tiny, it seems, and meanwhile Thug's firing elsewhere very nicely, but at the same time, still two nice kills from Liquid, and it opens up a bit more of the map for them. Radiance Middle Tower is under attack. Yeah. Thug could be in some trouble. Foxy has himself and connects just about with the spear. I mean, that was close, but it does work. And now with the spear coming out onto PA, Tiger positions it perfectly, and that is going to be Thug brought down. That's an important one. Meanwhile, elsewhere, LeBron is uh, having troubles. Well, LeBron, oh, Nick's going to come in and try and help him out here. Meanwhile, the Ainswalk has dropped onto Mitch. Mitch is a little bit nervous about committing too hard to this one as Boxy comes in the back lines. Another great spear coming down, pinning Mitch down in that little uh, finger of death. Meanwhile, Grim, he's also going to get killed off by Mickey. Another two kills go in the way of Liquid as they are kind of just taking over this map right now. <laughs> Radiant are scanning. Oh no, oh no. An old target has been found and this one's gonna be noob as he is completely surrounded, turns around with the toss. It won't be enough to keep him alive though. Although that said, Thug gets a kill elsewhere on the map, but could also be in some trouble himself. Thug gets on top of him. The RP is dropped from LeBron as they try to surround him. A nice little rail out from the lead. Ah, she's gone, she's gone. Thug gets a double and even gonna grab himself a nice little familiar and also donating one towards the charity of DMZ as well, so. Pretty good, pretty good. PA gets a little bit whilst the tiny dies elsewhere on the map. Mmm, mmm, desolator PA could be an option. Dyer are scanning. Unfortunately, they've dropped the NATO, so on 10 blood rats gonna connect as well. They should be able to bring down the Coddle without committing a lot, but it's never gonna bring him down. DMZ is gonna die instead. Meanwhile, the Coddle's still alive. Mitch really wants to come in and finish the job, but there's too much damage coming away from the dude. So as Boxy picks him out, kills him off. Got to be kind of spear, puts an end to him, and now Noob's gonna get stunned by the Cursed Crown as well. Does have a blink dagger to get himself away. Nearly some up thug in the process, but doesn't do so as he moves in towards the trees. Liquid still chasing. Will they be able to find him is a question. He is duke them pretty nicely here. The whole team of Liquid giving chase, and they will not find him. But oh, they might have found someone else instead. Of LeBron. He's getting chopped up. See you later. Gets the spear off. Okay. Nice, nice little uh, skewer at the very last second. Gonna force Boxy to blink down from there, but with a blink dagger, it's not gonna mean a whole lot. Life goes on, and now, oh no, Liquid, they are into that pit. They need to do something about this, but their big team fighter is dead. Yep, 
Not above right to view into the pit, but they're just going to drop down the English Fighters on top of the Roshan to try and stop them jumping into it. They want to try and give it a go, but the Roshan goes down. Nikki picks up the Aegis, now looks at Revenge. Oh, beautiful! Arena comes out from Boxy, cutting off Thug, and Mitch and DNT will all fall together. Three heroes dead on the side of Spider Pig straight off the bat. Noob just trying to run himself away. They won't keep chasing the Tiny, I don't think, but still Liquid. They take Roshan, they take three heroes. Oh, Spider Pigs, you know, they, they look so good. They look so, like, excitable in game number one, and in game number two, they just seem to be falling apart of the scenes here. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Yep, and you don't want to be giving those away, but at the same time, you can't turn up to the fights either. It's too damn scary, so really out of options here on the side of Spider Pigs. They just got to try and play together. Hope they can make something magical happen, but that's Radiant's looking like a bit of a pipe dream at this point. It's Koikfa. That scary, scary visage coming through, layering on the stuns onto the Magnus. A spear from Box yet a God's Rebuke will finish him off. The Magnus gets dropped, and another kill into the basket of Team Liquid as they take the bottom tower in the same time. Nice little drop from the tiny. He's still able to do some stuff, especially Dyer's with the uh, help of the Grimstroke. Follow me. But unfortunately, it's not enough to give them much hope. And they might try and make a smoke of this. They certainly will. Noob, LeBron, DNZ, the little hope train coming out. Got the radiant side of the map. Let's see if they can find anybody. That's it, Let's see, Boxy, Quake for. <laughs> yeah. Very uninterested. In they go there. They're gonna find the uh, the nice little tiger kill. Once again, just going for the easy ones, but unfortunately there might be a bit of retribution now coming out from the team liquid as Boxy gets off that arena once again. They're trying to make some sort of play on the side of Spider Pig. There's nothing to be done. Mickey's gonna jump in and cleanly kill off Noob as DNZ gets killed by Quickfa. Liquid now looking forward for more, but I mean Spider Pig just leaving. They are just gone, but that said, familiar is controlling up Magnus. Another great spear from Boxy. The blood right is down, it's gonna stop him. You betcha not. Mickey comes in, finishes off the kill. We're looking towards the tier 2 tower, and look at how quickly it goes down, my goodness, it's Radiant's pushing power from Liquid. They might be knocking on the high ground right now. They Radiant's most certainly are. Tower is under attack. Radiant's structures are fortified. Dyer's structures are fortified. <laughs> It's a sad time to be a pig, but... <laughs> um... So, a bit, a bit of flag, a bit of flag, we're gonna pause up. What's that? Down here, they get the kill onto the visage with relative ease. And uh, Spider Pigs, well, I mean, they're going to be able to take over a bit of the this. Also, that Aegis timer is uh, looking kind of low now as well. In fact, it's, it, it's gone. It's gone a little while ago, so... Wait, no, it's not. I've got a bug. That's interesting. 40 seconds? Thank you. Thank you. This lag seems to be doing some strange things.
Indeed, indeed. Thankfully, we have uh, seemed to have put those behind us, although we could have some connection issues. But at the same time, uh, I think most people have been having some connection issues recently. The server's been struggling as of late. Maybe some experimentation going on in the back lines, but who knows? Uh, yeah, with the Aegis going down, it's kind of nice that the that Quakefer's death is going to overlap the Aegis. It really means that Liquid won't really be able to do much in this time frame. And uh, maybe spider pigs can drag themselves back into this one, but they are trailing by 13k gold. I mean, they're then phantom assassin isn't nearly as rich as i'd like her to be She's got to avoid the Sven, like, all, at all costs in the next fight. Otherwise, uh, she will just get slapped Zaya's down into oblivion. Meanwhile, Insania, I mean, he's just, he's just farming. Like, he's just playing the farming five, loving life, heading towards the solar crest at an alarming rate. He's actually got more CS than the Tiny does. 93 on the, uh, or 97 now, uh, on the Coral versus the 81 of the new one is Tiny, because, you know, he, he's just been killing. Tiny's just been looking to make kills, make space, get heroes, and uh, ignore the farm. Dyer are scanning. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Feels rather likely. AC helping out Sven quite a lot. You know, the, the one way which Sven is going to die in these fights, if he's caught without Warcry by the PA with her anti armor, he, he will die very quickly if that's the case. But doing so is, is very, very difficult. And without 15 armor from, Bona, from Warcry up, they're not going to be able to bring him down, and the AC is going to help mitigate that massively as well. Meanwhile, well, they're jumping in Sager at mid. I mean, this is a very rich coddle. They will be able to bring him down, but now Liquid's coming in. Then it's some revenge. Arena is perfect. Onto both Thug and Tiny, and now the fear comes in on top. They've already taken down Thug as Tiny blasts his face into the side of the arena, gets brutally killed, and now they get on top of the uh, Bloodseeker as well. Superman comes flying on through, scoops up another kill, and Mickey and his big fat sword take down three heroes. DNZ on the run. They might not be done here. As DNZ gets netted up and in he comes. Mickey comes through, gets himself the ultra. Mitch is gonna run himself away. He should be okay. Oh my god, what am I talking about? It's Ben. Of course, like hey, those skewer back into the fountain. Mickey's been on more than he can chew. He's gonna die. RP gets used, but does not connect as they try to run themselves away. But this could be really bad for the side of Liquid. They might have been enough more than they could chew. Boxy going for the TP away. Tiger won't be so lucky as he gets killed, but Boxy will get himself out. Meanwhile, Koik was just trying to deal with the buildings, trying to play some objective-based gameplay, but uh, LeBron. Bronze coming through with that skewer, trying to find him, trying to bring him down. Does have a shockwave to drag him back in a little bit. Quickman trying to turn it around, but there's a root coming out from Mitch with the blood right coming out on top of him as well. Insania coming back into the mix. He's got an ultimate, so they should both get themselves away here. I doubt there's much more chasing they can really do. LeBron trying to go for the skewer play, though. Does manage to grab out Quick, but Insania sighs and says, fine, I'll drop my ultimate down. And Noob's Blink Dagger is going to get caught out by Insania's Blinding Light as well. Doing a lot of work on this cuddle to cover the retreat of the Quakefer, and it does look like they will be able to get themselves to safety. What a bounty! I must have them all. Dyer's middle tower is under attack. under attack. Oh, no, 
Force Demon. And Liquid are invading here, but they've got a double damage bottled up and ready to go on the PF. She can get up at BKB. She can do some serious work this fight. I need to get a trouble blur as they jump forward onto Mitch. Mitch's gonna be the main target here. Meanwhile, the Yules comes out onto the fence and assassin. She pops to the beat of BKB. Turns it around with the double damage, but Boxy, he just doesn't care. He puts up his shield and just ignores her. Thug's entire BKB duration is gonna get completely wasted. This wasn't the game plan at all. In fact, she put the DD before she got Yules to the U. It just got purged immediately. Oh no, that is that is just tragic. And well, Noob is gonna join this PA in death here as another Yule comes down. And when he comes to back to the earth, he's gonna get taken down very, very quickly. In fact, Mickey just run in circles. Doesn't even feel the need to slap him in as Noob is gonna fall. Mickey moves in towards the tier one tower, but this game may well just be over here. Radiance Middle Barracks has fallen. <laughs> Take away the temptation. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's what I was just saying. He used it before his BKB. So sad. Boxy. <laughs> He's very wise to Magnus' shenanigans. Mag once again, trying to go for the skewer back, gonna get punished for it as he gets taken down. Flyback is available on the mag, they'll have everybody up available to fight in two seconds, so... If they want to buy back on the mag, that is. Let's see what they can do here. Insania, buddy. Okay, well, uh, that, was a, that was a bit suicidal. We're fighting with a man down now. The five versus four. As uh, Liquid are actually going to get chased away here. And I was saying that. The mag's going to get, uh, the box is going to get left behind. He throws down the arena, does miss the spear onto the BKB PA. Uh, so he's just going to try and moonwalk his way out of this situation. But unfortunately, he can't be saved from that. Koifa, meanwhile, he's having some fun. Jumps into the front line, throwing down a couple of soul assumptions onto the hero. Here a tiny just getting peppered, and now in comes a fan. Beautiful RP, but unfortunately, a beautiful nerf. Fear from Tiger. It's going to completely defuse the situation as Mitch is going to get killed off. Sven just ripping through everybody, one hero at a time. Thug's going to die, LeBron's going to follow. Now they'll get the ultra kill on the Sven. No rampage, but who needs it when you've got a game instead? And the series will go to Team Liquid. Oh, no.